Hey, welcome, welcome, Hello, welcome. Hello, everyone. Oh, welcome man, back it actually worked this time. I don't, to, I don't have to fix it. Look at my cursor, it's big. Um, <gasps> you did it. Yeah, good job. Good. Fantastic. All right, welcome, everybody. So, yeah, this is the solution, and we're working on box one of season three. Uh, it's called Initiation. It's by Hunt a Killer. They are a fantastic company, and um, we have been having a great time with this little mystery so far. And next week we will start on box two, and I'm also very excited about that. But we have a couple things to wrap up with this box before we get started on the next one. Indeed. And um, we totally agreed that we weren't going to talk about or explore any of these things in between. Um, but I kind of did because I got hung up on a thing. And it was pointed out to me by somebody in one of the forums that there is a, um, there's a cipher that we missed somehow and i'm not exactly sure how we did that um uh, but it's in the winter newsletter is this thing that you sent to me right yeah yeah so this is on the archives page of the listening friends of america.org site uh where they sent us um to find some other things in the archives and this is like the main page of that like before the little secret link at the bottom so um at the bottom of this winter newsletter there's a little cipher puzzle and we don't really know anything about it besides that it's there. So it let's exists. work on figuring that out. All right. Um, what up with this puzzle? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like a substitution cipher, but I don't know where we would go for a key. So I think it may just be up to us to figure out what letters go with what right and so when you um, told me what we were, like word size. yeah and when you told me what we were talking about today uh i started to look at this and i immediately noticed that this looks like part of a url right mm -hmm. so, but what is what is the question mark and what is the x um, i have no idea i don't either uh so it it makes me yeah yeah, I don't know. Like that, I mean that you know, obviously, like that's a partial key, but like I don't, I guess I don't really know how to like apply it to the alphabet. Um, I'm not Did sure. Did we read so all of this? Does this give any any clues, hints? Um, Is I'm it not relevant? sure. I read it, but I don't know. I don't really remember much of it. Do we want to kind of browse through it really quick? Uh. Let's just read it. Why not? Yeah, sure. I got this. Cool. All right. The Listening Friends of America Winter Newsletter, January 2017. Live each season as it passes. Breathe the air, drink the drink, taste the fruit, and resign yourself to the influences of each. Henry David Thoreau. <laughs> Happy New Year from the Listening Friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I implied a lot there. Happy New Year from the LFOA family. Dear friends, as we say farewell to 2016 and usher in 2017, let's take stock on how lucky we are to have expanded our noble mission as well as we did, and to have stayed true to our tenets, and to have grown our family and friends. Exciting changes are ahead, and there is quite a bit of hubbub around our organization at all our various facilities. I know, I know, I, I know. <laughs> But let me assure you that no one need lose their job nor sacrifice their position. I have asked George Madison, Madsen, Madsen, Madsen. I have asked George Madsen, VP at Darlington, to highlight the career of a veteran employee who epitomizes the commitment that we all share to each other and to our mission. We build on that commitment. The year ahead will be our best yet. I can promise you that. This brings me to my last point. This winter, we begin, and we begin the new year with loved ones near to your heart. Remember your family. Remember your friends. Remember your family of friends. Warmest wishes, Felix. Oh, it's our friend Felix from the letter. Oh, yeah, Felix. Uh, oh, okay, so we are in the employee spotlight of Jacob Nilsson. Have we been introduced to Jacob prior to this letter? I don't believe so, but I do have an interesting tidbit about Felix. 
Oh, sure. Um, he, he, the t he hit me with the Felix gossip. Gosh. The, oh, the no. Felix tidbit. Oh, oh <laughs> my binder's upside down. Oh, geez. Okay. So on this very front page here, uh, this, this first um, letter that we got from Felix that like kind of introduced us to the entire box. Um, let's see. Keep on scrolling. That one. The one, this one's from Meg. Nope. Nope. One back. Where did it go? It's got that. Yep, that's the one. So the name at the top is Felix, and that's also how he signs it. Mm -hmm. But um, that phrase up top, Felix, uh, ex, ex literis, literis. Literis, yeah, um, is actually a Latin phrase. What does it mean? Uh, it means Felix writes letters. No, hold on a second. Let me let me re-google it. It means happiness from the letter. Happiness from the letter. Happiness from the letter. That seems fitting for listening Friends of America. It really does. Hmm. Okay, that's all. Interesting. Back to Jacob. All right, so uh, this is an employee spotlight of Jacob Nilsson. Uh, by George Madsen. Oh, Sean, I see what you're talking about. I'm sorry. So uh, we have two views going on here, and I just haven't switched. Boop. There you go. You can see this other view. That probably makes a bit more sense. Um, hello, everyone. I would like to take this time to place in the spotlight a valuable member of our team here at the Darlington facility, um, Jacob Nilsson. Jacob has been indispensable over the better part of two decades. Working here at our main facility, he has been an inspector for most of that time, but he began his relationship with LFOA as a part-time volunteer back when we would hold bake sales for that sort of thing. Uh, Jacob has always been a man of the community and has often gone above and beyond his work as a package inspector to better the lives of our residents. He has gone out of his way on numerous occasions to make our residents feel at home. He has formed heartfelt relationships with the rest of our staff. Every day is made brighter here at Darlington by the efforts of Mr. Nilsson and I, as well as the rest of the staff, applaud his work and his character. I look forward to seeing what Jacob brings to the table this year. May 2017 be full of pleasant surprise. Happy New Year. <laughs> Signed, Winter Puzzle. Jacob sounds like a great guy. Jacob does sound like a great guy. And then we have this winter puzzle, which is what brings us here. None of this actually seems relevant to the winter puzzle. Um, other than I, I reading the thing about Jacob Nilsson, right? Like they keep talking about all these facilities. And so if anyone who was watching the last one remembers uh, at the end of the last episode, we started uncovering a whole bunch of city names in all of these coded documents, right? Um, well, <laughs> Emily being the diligent, diligent person that she is, has mapped all of these out for us uh and you can see here um a map of all of these all of these lfoa facilities at least what we assume are lfoa facilities correct well maybe another tidbit about that that i also sure. found out uh, is that there are at least two other boxes going on right now from hunter killer and the lfoa archives are actually like the whole all of hunter killer is oh all of it uses part the same of thing. LFO. Yeah. So like so we have a much bigger picture. We us. have a much bigger picture here than is necessary, is what you're telling me. Yeah. So we have no idea other than other than the the one that we were like actually instructed to to look, to at, look at which to was, crack open. Which was um, if we look teeth. at it was this teeth. archives list that we happen to have created. <laughs> Shut it was teeth. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the Bozeman facility is the one we are specifically looking at. Right. Uh, which would bring me back to... We want to look at Montana. So Bozeman. The point of Bozeman our that's Montana. apparently the point of our focus here I guess. today. Well, is, today, Darlington, but... is Darlington on that list? I feel like it is. Uh, I felt like it was too. But it is not. Sure, I thought it was. I thought for sure it was. I feel like it is. Oh, it is right here. 
okay, cool. Where is that? What what state uh, is that? Darlington is Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Uh -huh. Yeah, indeed. Wisconsin. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this winter puzzle. I hope all this geography uh, comes into play. Sean is really good at this stuff. Sean's here. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, what do you think about this puzzle though? <laughs> 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 yeah have you caught up so, on the past episodes it is with your theories <laughs> the um i guess the first place that i can think to start is with these two smaller words at the end of um this phrase uh there's wh and hc right next to each other and if it's a substitution cipher then we can assume that h is the same no matter what so we'd have to find two two letter words that would make sense in a sentence like that that would start and end with the first letter or okay. with the with the same letter uh hold on one second no nah, i'm saying yeah i have an idea okay so w h h c um i t it at uh i mean are we just taking word ideas right now yeah because i mean it would have to be something that ends with one letter and then the next two letter word would also have to start with that letter because it's w h h c so like i immediately thought in no like i n n o uh i n n o i t t o it too yeah e we the <laughs> there's a lot of two letter words so i have another idea you know what i bet it's t because i, I have another idea okay we let a computer solve it no that's cheating this is, is way more cheating fun. no i mean not really but right. let's let's try first let's let's like actually give it I mean, a try we live in an age where like a computer would have this and like nope. No, Second. technology is great, but this is puzzles, and puzzles are fun. Okay, All right. so okay. I bet you that it's T, though, because then the first word is HVS. That could be the. All right, so, all right, yeah, because most sentences start, like, like think about how to, think about sentence structure, right? Right. So if the sentence starts with the, so if we assume that T-H-E is, in fact, HVS, uh then we can also then okay i need way more whiteboard yep so. i need um i need to go get some uh paper and pencil actually i will be right back okay o g e c f d H V W G M S O F dot 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 H K All right. S B So if we do M C W J S M S O F G <laughs> D O H S F. I'm writing the whole thing down so I can translate the whole thing. Uh, the That's fine. I'm actually writing an alphabet so I can match up the letters. B S J S Oh wait, that's one thing. Shit. B S J S F A O R S W H. It's twelve. H. What? It's. I think it's twelve forward. Hang on a second. One, two. Yeah, it's it's the alphabet um, shifted twelve letters forward. Well, that's just stupid simple. 
Yeah, no, it's great. So I have it. It's um, H I J K L M. I'm ready for letters. So, so are we certain the first word is T? Is the W X Y Z? Yes. Okay. A B C D. Okay. Are you great. ready? I I'm am ready to translate. You're going to oh, hand no. me the letters and I'm yes. going to tell you what the. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go yes. ahead. That's what's happening. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, o is A. Okay. W. W is I. Z. L. C. Z again, you said? C. Oh, C is O. H. T. K. W. O. O is A. G. G is S. P. B. C. O. F. R. B. N. H T V H W I G S M <laughs> uh Y S E O a. F. R. H. T. K. W. S. Uh, e. B. H. H. T. M. I'm sure this is like super captivating for our audience. Oh yeah, Sorry, no, guys. no, this is great. We, this is like the third time we've done this, by the way. This is how you solve puzzles, people. This is reality. All right, uh, M, M is Y. y. <laughs> T. Um. F. And you wanted to have a computer, dude. This is way more fun. Come on. W. <laughs> I. I. J. V. S. Uh, E. Okay. M. Y. Uh, Y. Sorry, I can start probably filling in some of these. E. O is A. F is R. G is. What's S? Z. What's Z? Uh, L. L. O is A. A. H is T. S is E. F, I mean, stop me if I get one wrong. F is R. Mm -hmm. The V is H. Yep. S is E. E. B is N. N. S is e. e. J is V. S is E. F is R. A is M. M. O is A, R is D. D, thank you. I don't think we'd have that mm -hmm. one yet. S is E. E. Uh, w. I. I. H is T. T. C is O. o. E. Is B. E. Uh oh, I don't know if this is a D or no. Where's the code? Uh, it's a D. That's P. O is A. a. N is Z. Um, w. Uh, I. Z is L. L. Okay, there's 
all right. It, this sort of makes sense. It says the islet. I'm sorry. I have just slammed the microphone. Sorry about that, everybody. The islet was born this year. Twenty five years later, he never made it to a puzzle. So there's the something. The islet, like E Y E L E T, no, was look born. At, look, look, at, look at the thing. Oh. I think it means maybe pilot, but something's off. But it's the o- never... that's the only letter that is off, however. Yeah, oh, it's definitely A. So, what letters couldn't ja- couldn't uh, Jasper type? P and J. P and no, Z? there was it was D. Uh, J and Z, no, yeah, J and Z because his name on a on the bottom is like. And that makes no sense. Then that makes no sense. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, unexpected. Right. <clears throat> so, pilot probably then, right? The pilot was born this year. 25 years later, he never made it to Opazil. Let, uh, let me spell that for you so you get that right. That's O-P-A-Z-I-L. I don't know O-P-A-Z-I-L. what... O-P-A-Z-I-L. I, I, I assume that's a place. Is that on our list? No, it's not anything I've ever heard. Hmm. Oh, puzzle. The pilot. The islet? Ill? This year, 25 years later. Need it. Is this supposed to make sense? I mean, I'm f- uh, Bowser's, Bowser's. Pilot Brazil, Brazil. Pilot the puzzle, what? Sean, that's a good point, Sean. Brazil makes sense. Why are just the P and the O wrong, though? Because, I mean, I mean, like, the A was wrong here, too, right? So, like, it's also a P, but, like, why? It's like a word in some language. Like, I Googled it, and it's, I don't I language this is. All right, stand by. Google things. Hmm. It's got it. It has to be Brazil. Just because the P is also typoed. Pilot. Slovenian? I have no idea. Huh. It came to my notice that it's like notice. Yeah, it's like notice in Slovenian. That's strange, but I think it's I think it's Brazil. Wait, okay, wait. Jump back to the hint. Typo. Jump back to the hint. Uh, the forward slash. Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. What do you think, chat? Yeah, you guys are over quiet. Any theories? Yeah. We sounded off way more about this nonsense. Yeah, guys, where you at today? Um. Um. 
Yeah, that is interesting, though. I am pretty, I'm fairly sure. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I think it's just a typo. I think they mean pilot, and I think they mean Brazil. But what does that mean? Even translated, it still doesn't make fucking sense. Well, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll find out in a week. That's well, not too cool. Well, well right that's now, part of the fun is that fun. I don't know that yeah. that's fun. You have a weird definition of fun. It's suspense. It's just whatever. <laughs> I'd also like you to know that I had the computer translate this. It made less sense than what we translate. Oh well, then. I want to talk Sometimes about it. You just need a human, huh? <laughs> I want to talk about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So that was unfortunately easier than I suspected it would be. Um. You got any yeah. ideas as to what it means? Like what? Uh, what pilot? What Brazil? Like why would that be part of what? Why? What? What? An, all right. In what context did you learn that this was something we should have uncovered? In the <laughs> forums for Hunt a Killer. Right, but like. There's like puzzles in every one, but they're like not. Like that one we're obviously meant to find and like decipher. Any of them mention a pilot though? Not that I remember. Um. Ah, what is something that you always have, but you always leave behind? Pilot. I don't, I don't know. To crack a whip, a section of whip must be traveling faster than the speed of sound. This creates a small sonic boom, which accounts for cracking noise. The creation of the song, that's not it. Well, that's just Miss Know-It-All. That's not Puzzle Corner. Don't forget to wear plenty of sunscreen. <laughs> Especially if you're a yeah, pilot. Man. No, I Sean, like, I don't think, it's... Sean, there has been a pilot mentioned before. Like, no, I can't think of any, or, like, even any reason that this story would have anything to do with a pilot. I'll, full I'll stop. through some of these. This lady mentioned a pilot? I don't think she ever mentions a pilot. Oh, no, but I didn't find out what the M is. I know that's a different letter. It's from Meg. Uh, climbed up the M? Uh-huh. Climb up Wait. the M and hang out on the summit. Wait, what? In in Meg's letter. This. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. That is from Meg. So is she talking about herself? What? What? She says, I like to hike up the M and hang out on the summit. Yeah. The M is uh, this, like, mountain trail in Missoula, Montana. It's like a three-hour drive from Bozeman. And the M is, like, a it's like a big M <laughs> on, like, the side of this mountain that there's, like, a hiking trail to. And it's, like, for, I think it's for the U- University of Montana or some school that's whatever but they call it the m like it's it's like local university of missoula maybe i don't know let's see the m hike the m hike california oh no that's kind uh the m trail montana all trails.com oh no it's in bozeman my bad i thought it was in missoula so yeah if you just google like m what did I say? M Trail hike. Uh, it's a 1.6 moderately traffic trail located near Bozeman, Montana, that features beautiful wildflowers. The trail is rated as moderate. The trail is rated as moderate. Offers. I actually got offers a number of activity Missoula. options. Dogs are also able to use the trail. Yeah, I actually. Yeah, what? I actually got results in Missoula. Uh, yeah. This list is a list as. Bozeman. 
but yeah, in any on case, University Mountain, which would make it, a lot of sense. Yeah, it makes sense now why she said that weird ass thing in the middle of her letter that had nothing to do with anything. I'm looking for a photo of the M. Let's see where Meg hikes. Check this, let's check this out. Hold on. Here's University Mountain Trail. Is there literally an M on this thing somewhere? Um, I thought that somebody had mentioned there was like, you know, like the Hollywood sign, like there's the big letters or yeah. whatever. The, like there was like a big M somewhere. I don't know if it's like at it's the summit. It's probably hard to know. see straight down if it's like a sign. But... Yeah, I'm not sure. Whoa, whoa. Pick the M, Destination Missoula. Oh, whoa! No, right here! What? The freaking M on this mountain! Oh, neat! The M! Look at that! Hm. Huh. And there's, a, there's just a trail that goes up to it. And huh. then you just hang out on the summit. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, that's, that's cool as there's, hell. There's photos. There's 200 photos from this spot. Whoa, pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's not. There we go. I kind of want to hike oh, up Oh, check the out M. the M. It's just in the ground there. Wow. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty too. That's not really why we're here. <laughs> oh. That is pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Nice. Uh, Montana's pretty. I've never been. Uh, Sean's been. I know that. Weird. This was a weird side trip to figure out what the M is. Now that we know what that is, that's less interesting. We don't know how to get back to our... Here, yeah. Yeah, so this is basically the marker. Can I drop a thing? Add this. I added the M to our map. Oh, cool. Nice. No, we know that. That's the thing we know now. All right. Yep. Which is actually a good distance away from Bozeman. Is it? Yeah, because Bozeman's way down here. The M is up here. I clear the search from showing up in. Oh, here. So yeah, up here in Missoula, this is the M. Bozeman's down here. <laughs> Sean says it's a twenty-hour drive. I'm good. Change the. Color of this pin? Yes. Red pin. Doing stuff. That. Doing stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Um what else do we have this week? Uh oh, we were looking for references to pilots and then you sidetracked me. Way to distract oh, me. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um Yeah, I think there's like been zero pilot mentions. I'm fairly confident about that. Oh, oh, this Cobra stuff. We never went down any further on this Cobra project stuff. Um, uh, no, we didn't. There was that. Um, there's this, too, which we can only assume has something to do with Jasper, but we don't know what. The back of the thing? The music. No, the both of them, really. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of convinced that the um that the first one was the the crime that he's like in for this like gruesome murder where this, this murder. chest was ex excavated wow i can't even say that word excavated ex excavated excavated. Ex excavated yep um yeah uh that's pretty grim <laughs> very grim incredibly grim yeah, yeah super gross but like i don't know that there's I don't know that there's a whole lot that we haven't discussed about this box already. I, I mean, I we can think... talk. We can talk some theories, but it's still pretty early on. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't that we didn't get this box like today. I got the message that it was out for delivery, but I'm not at my office, and that's where it's getting delivered. So that's cool. Wait. That's cool. Next week, that means though we will have a whole freaking pile of new information to sort. I through. know. I'm so excited. Um, right now, this is let's bounce back this view. 
right now this is what we have um, in our possession as far as information and material for this mystery um, and next week this collection is going to double so because this this mystery just builds on itself for six months mm -hmm. is that true okay. yeah i think it's i think it's six okay. i'm fairly sure it's six boxes um for this for the season yep um question we can we can ask audience opinion here too how do we continue to organize this information do i make a new set of slides for this next box and we reference both sets of slides simultaneously or do i just keep piling information into this and organize it because the way i organized this was letters and i organized them from who they were from and then i organized it as articles and then forms and then photos and so like yeah the way that i do it myself um is kind of like you have yours organized but mine's in evernote oh. um so i've been like taking photos of everything and then annotating like directly in Evernote, which is pretty handy. Um, Got a note. Question mark. Egg note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not we sure. For, we forgot. We haven't figured this out yet either. Long. I, yeah. I mean, that one just seems. It. It just feels like maybe some shit got cut off. In the copy, and I don't think it's. I don't think it's super relevant that it's missing a couple letters. Uh, one thing that we never really did explore is that vault. This picture? I don't even know what that kind of paper is called. That, like, weird printy... It's, like, um, sort of translucent, and it's... I know what you're talking about. It's like about. a slide. Yeah. I, can't th I tried to think of it last week when you mentioned it, too, and I couldn't think of it then. Uh, I guess I'm just, just not entirely sure why it would be printed on that it almost feels like maybe it's meant to be laid over something or like maybe it still needs to be combined with something shown else we have through a, with we a have light a or yeah. yeah it seems weird to you me did put a light through it I, we we did that oh um, yeah we did yeah i wonder if it's supposed to be laid over something then because i don't know it seems strange to me that they would go to the trouble of printing it on that like very specialty paper if it was just an art print that we were meant to get one word off of, you know? That's true. Also, the relevance but, of the image may come up. Yeah. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of, like, a clock face. You know? Yep. Yep, absolutely. Jasper's into clocks. All right, well, Jasper's it sounds into, like, like we have kind like of... Clocks. We've kind of beaten this horse to death at the moment. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I did in this spreadsheet here and then I'll probably very irrelevant because i did not realize you know, at the though, time you know though like that... <laughs> i think what's interesting here is we now are like whether we meant to or not we created this interesting much larger picture of listening friends of america that may or may not become relevant in the future um i think it it may become relevant in the future because we may do those boxes in the future i have no right. idea i mean i'm enjoying this yeah. so i'd like to keep doing these boxes and so like I think tracking all of this stuff may, you know, one day prove fruitful. Yeah. I mean, if they're all under the umbrella of Friends of America, at all, I right. mean, have some, you know, underlying scheme between all, I think, three that are going right now or have been going in the recent past. I'm not really sure how their, their whole shit works. Yeah, all. this is Initiation 3, right? So we're, this in, is, we're yeah, in the, the, essentially the third iteration of Hunter, Hunter Killer. And this is the... Well, it's the third season, and it's called Initiation, but from what I've gathered, they're starting everybody out on this one. Okay. So, like, I don't know if they just decided to retire the two previous to this, whatever they were, but there are some other ones that are actually going on right now, the way I understand it. So, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, well... Yeah, this was fun. Uh, we don't have a whole lot more to go through here. Uh, so next week we will pick back up and we'll be back at, to it for another full hour. Probably want to do more than that, but I think an hour's right about where we should be. Yeah. Uh, just stick with that. I think so too. Yeah, this was well, fun. Well, thank you guys um, for if, joining us. Uh, and yeah. uh, check us out. Um, actually, check Trey out tonight. He's playing with myself. I'm doing uh, something. Uh, uh, at 7 p.m.? Um, uh yeah, seven PM. Uh Sean has something. Sean, what do you got? We got time. What do you got, man? Hit me. Dun, 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 dun. The suspense is killing me. What do you got, Sean? <laughs>
God, oh my God, it's so suspenseful. Oh my God, it's so suspenseful. It better be good. I love that there's like a lag. Sean's probably over there like furiously typing. Like, why can't they see it yet? Paul Redfern disappeared. What? What are you talking about? All right, I need you to explain this slightly more. Like, or as in, like, we misinterpreted that that thing, this this newsletter thing. The two letters P and R that was switched. Where'd you pull Paul Redfern from? You understand this? No. I feel like he's working on a scheme. I don't know. Let's get, let's give him a second here to. Lives for twenty-five years. Yeah. What? I'm so confused, Sean. Google. Google what? Oh wait a minute! Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about a pilot. A pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That lived for twenty-five years. Wait, wait. Pilot was born. Wait. Reread the message. The pilot was born this year. 25 years later, he never made it to Opazel. Brazil. So a 25-year-old pilot. 25-year-old pilot disappears. Paul Redfern. Interesting. He was trying to go to Brazil from Brunswick, Georgia. What? Paul Redfern. Spotted. We spotted by the nerd after dropping a message asking for a ship to be turned in the direction of the nearest land. As well, official. Wait, can you read that out loud? Sorry, it's like way too small on the screen. Uh, Paul Redford went missing in 1927 when he attempted to fly from Brunswick, Georgia to Brazil. He was spotted by the Norwegian freighter Christian Kroch uh, a few hours later after dropping a message asking for the ship to be turned in the direction of the nearest land. And when nearing Venezuela, he was spotted by a fisherman just off the coast. He failed to arrive in Rio de Janeiro, and over the years, more than a dozen search parties were organized. Missionaries and people visiting tribes living in the jungle reported a white man living among the Indians, but he was never found, but he was never found and no credible evidence documenting that he somehow had survived the flight exists. It's this American man missing in the jungle that has never been proved dead or alive. Okay, so can you read that message one more time? The pilot was born this year. Twenty-five years later, he was ne he never made it to Brazil. So, like, basically, what we're what year did he not make it to Brazil? Uh, he was okay. So, if we are trying to get a number, we're trying to get his his birth year. Nineteen twenty-seven. Nineteen twenty-seven. Wait, no, nineteen o two. Nineteen o two to New York. <gasps> what? Where's what? the thing? Give me this thing slash 1902 to 1927. Damn it. What? The hint. Oh. The hint. The hint. We're not done with this puzzle. We are trying to bring up a web page or something. I don't know. Hints. 
Do you think it's looking for his date of birth and death? That hint is not a hint. It's not helpful. <laughs> it is more confusing than anything. I don't think we've gotten to the final answer of this puzzle. I think Sean's right. And it's too much of a coincidence that the two letters that were skipped were P and R. Why? Dude's name is Paul Redford. And it mentions Brazil? Like, no, this isn't yeah. a coincidence. This is intentional. Well, I mean, I feel like the deciphered message makes it think that it makes it sound like that's what we're looking for is, is the year 1902 it says this year the pilot was born so 1902 right right so what do we do with what do we do with 1902 right so then we go back to the newsletter and it says can you figure out this message or what it means we believe we did that sure he is 16 r okay all right so we believe we did that but then there's this hint and it's forward slash four question marks dash four X's, which leads me to believe 1902 and 1927 would go there. But what is the slash attached to? No idea. Not either. Hmm. Part of me says listening friends of America dot org, right? So 1927 dash or 1902. Dash 1927. 1927. Alternately, it's just dash XXXX. Because, you know, then that page doesn't exist. Mm. All right, so then I have another theory. Paul Redfern. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there will be more information next week. People who died recently. I feel like that's a long list. Oh, never mind. Never <laughs> mind. Never mind. Went the wrong direction. Paul Ronaldo Redford. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to make I am of not this. entirely sure either. I think this took um, an interesting twist, though, because yeah. I honestly don't think that this is a coincidence. No, I don't think so either. Good find, Sean. Solid find. Yeah, super solid find. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess this is where we're going to leave it with the mystery of Paul Redfern and the next box coming next week. I guess, man. I don't want to wait a whole... I'm going to get that on Monday. I'm going to have to sit on it for an entire six days. Ugh. It's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I get very excited. Oi. All right. All right. Well, this was fun. Yeah. 
I guess that's I will it for be us. back on later. Uh, probably playing. I think I'm gonna try some video game stuff tonight. I'm not sure if anybody has any recommendations as what video game I should play. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know. I'll play something. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tonight, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Attack of Opportunity. We're gonna be playing more Curse of Strahd, assuming I don't crush my foot again, which would be incredibly tragic. I don't be really, wish to really do that again. Sad. Um, but anyway, this was a lot of fun. Uh, for not really knowing what we were going to talk about today, we talked about a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we this... actually felt like an entire hour. I'm kind of proud of us. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, so <laughs> this was fun. Uh, thank you, everybody. And we will see you next week with the solution coming back Saturday, 1 p.m. Bye. Okay, bye.